Okay, if you're here, you probably wonder why you shouldn't be using heat gun if so many artists are doing and it's like a basic tool for so many artists, um, resin artists in the artwork creation process. And I'm here to tell you that you absolutely cannot use heat gun when you are uh, pouring the geode resin on the panels, uh, your main coat, which I want to show you just a couple of examples. This is the paradise uh, geode I've created. And you can see the tutorial on my channel as well, uh, showing in a small speed up how I'm pouring it. And you can see all of the line work created here. And this is what I'm talking about. You can never get a detail line work and you can never get the flow that is going with the center of your geode when you are using heat gun. So uh, stick till the end of the video if you want to know what I'm using instead. But right now, this is my biggest tip I can give you uh, if you are starting pouring geode and you are wondering why you are not getting results that you want to get. Because you are probably pouring the resin and then blowing the resin around. And my uh, style of the geode art creation is the wall jewelry. Uh, I focus a lot on the heart of the geode, which is druzy with the crystals. And when I put the design of the crystals and the druzy on my panel, I want everything to flow together. And this is how you can get the well-balanced artwork in your um, creation when you actually go with the flow of the heart of the geode. So go, everything needs to flow together. And to achieve that, you need to pour the resin the proper way. And if you want to see how I'm pouring the line work of the resin, there are two tutorials for both of these beautiful geodes, for the green one, as well as for the paradise turquoise the, uh, geode artwork. I have both tutorials on my channel, so you can more than welcome to go and check them out and the other videos that are very, very informative, but this is something that is really crucial. Like I'm showing you on those tutorials how I'm pouring the resin. And if you pour the resin with the flow of your heart of the geode, you will always um, have a good flow of your painting. And also this is something that will allow you to finish your painting with a very nice, uh, line details, pen details. See, the resin is really reflective and it's the... I can see the window or all, 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 uh, my ring lamp. So I'm maybe gonna switch to the other painting. Uh, maybe it's gonna be much easier. Yes, it's gonna be much easier to show. So if you want to have the flow and then if you want to have a uh, very easy work to do, very easy job on putting the pens, which are here and here and here and here the gold. If you want to have like a very easy job to finish your painting with line work, with the detail work, and if you want to have like one beautiful flow on your painting, please forget about heat gun. The only moment when I'm using the heat gun is to warm up the sides. I'm taping the sides always with the tape up to the edge and not above, just up to the edge. And then when my top coat is done at the end of painting, I'm warming up here with the heat gun and I'm removing the tape. And also when I pour top coat to protect all of my detail work, this is also when I'm taking my heat gun and I'm blowing, I'm warming up the resin and I'm blowing the bubbles because top coat is just the transparent resin that is protecting your artwork. But to create the first main coat and the main pour of the resin, when I'm achieving those beautiful ombre effects and going into those detail, those beautiful details or even like the wispy effect that I've created here, it is not the best lighting for that. Um, I would need much more sun to show it around and today is very cloudy day. 
but if you want to achieve results like that if you want to have control over the resin and you want to have a beautiful beautiful flow forget about heat gun guys this is a huge no-no if you want to up level your game as a geode resin artist and to uh, as i promised at the end of the video i wanted to reveal what am i using instead because yes uh, there are bubbles in the resin i'm using for a lot of my geode project geode resin for col from colorberry and there are many many bubbles in this resin so what i'm doing i'm using the the torch the kitchen small torch um, that you can use for creme brulee or other uh, kitchen uh, stuff and it's easy to get it everywhere amazon store i'm gonna link my amazon to my most favorite products as well here underneath in the description you can see all of the products i'm using but i am also having a video and i'm showing you my tools and i'm explaining the tools and i'm explaining the products that i'm using for my geode creation so check them out if you want to have a full picture and if you want to see how i poured resin on those two paintings check my uh, two tutorials that i'm having right now on the channel and if you want to see the entire process from start to finish in real time where it's like six hours of training very detailed training when i'm sharing my tips uh, check the link in the description to my teachable uh, courses that i'm hosting on teachable platform my professional courses for artists who wants to up level they, their game but right now uh, i'm telling you that at the end of your pour not even at the beginning this is very crucial tip if you are still here you will learn something that not many artists know when you are pouring the lines with resin don't torch them right away wait until the end of the pot life of the resin until the end of your pour and then torch um the resin because resin every time when you heat it up with torch or heat gun heat gun is like much more damageable because it's also blowing the um uh, the air so it's moving the resin much more but even if you warm it up with the torch it's getting much more liquid and it's moving much more so this is very crucial for you guys to remember and this is how you learn how to navigate this medium um, as an artist you really need to learn how the medium that you are working with which is resin here is behaving um, resin is having a specific pot life which is different for different bra brands for colorberry geode resin is 45 minutes so this is the time when you can work with resin and this is very important to remember that whenever you are heating up the resin even if it's like very jelly and at the end of the pot life it's gonna be much more liquid it's gonna cure faster and it's gonna also be much more liquid and then it's gonna flow on the canvas and it's gonna mix with the other lines that you poured so it's really crucial that you if you want to have control over the flow of the resin forget about heat gun use torch at the end of your creation process and you will see that your creations your artwork will change dramatically drastically and you will get a completely different look just by using this one important rule and if you as i mentioned if you want to have full picture um i'm gonna post here much much more often this channel is pretty new while I'm still picking right now, it's only 10 days old. So please have a patience for me, guys, to show you more things, to show more tutorials, to give you a better behind the scenes look at everything that I'm doing. Uh, please have patience with me. I'm for the next um, 30 days. I want to show, show up here every single day to bring you some value. Uh, to have as many videos on this channel as possible so if you're interested if you really want to be a very um, skilled geode resin artist but also resin artist in general because i have a lot of experiences in ocean art in abstract art and functional art as well so if you want to up level your game 
uh, stay tuned subscribe consider subscribing to my channel and i can guarantee you that you will learn something new in each and every of my videos so i'm gonna meet you there